The pain of losing a loved one in a mass shooting is all too familiar for the families of those killed at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. The parents of Parkland victim Joaquin Oliver were in El Paso when the first shooting happened. CBS 4's Ty Russell continues our team coverage. Sunday would have been Joaquin Oliver's 19th birthday. He was also known as Guac. Relatives won't be able to see him blow out candles. That's because he was one of 17 people killed February 2018 at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland and in honor of his birthday. His father, Manuel, is painting a mural in El Paso, Texas. The whole point was to celebrate Joaquin's birthday. While preparing for the mural, miles away, 20 people were killed and two dozen were injured during a shooting at a shopping center Saturday. And I got the news on my phone, everybody tweeting because they knew that I was in El Paso, and I said, oh, okay, happen again. My words and my deepest condolences to every single one of you. Joaquin's mother, Patricia, met Sunday with immigration advocacy group Border Network for Human Rights. This mother knows all too well about the struggle after a loss. She then told the crowd how healing is a slow process and more people than you know will be impacted. This is affecting the whole city. This is affecting now the whole state. You had another mass shooting last year in Santa Fe. While another mural is painted in honor of Joaquin. I see um, an activist, not a victim. The Oliver family, which has turned grief into activism, is raising $19,000 on Joaquin's 19th birthday. It's meant for programs to help prevent gun violence. They believe that could help families have more than a face and a memory of their loved one. The Olivers call the murals a wall of demand. That's because they want to see lawmakers do something about the mass shootings that have been going on so that other families don't have to live on with lifelong grief. In the newsroom, I'm Ty Russell, CBS4 This Morning.